and it's 2021 and we ain't forcing nothing except a rubber band around a bankroll. <laughs> Ladies, now let's get information because I slay. Y'all want to talk? So let's talk. I'm in the process of filming a hair tutorial at the same time, but I'm going to do my makeup and this separate video and whatnot. And I'm trying to create. And I'm trying to create a reel and the doorbell is ringing. I posted on Instagram. I told y'all I wanted to kind of do like a girl chat. I'm sorry, I asked y'all to send me some topics. Follow me on Instagram. That's where all of this was established at so that you could participate in the next one. Screenshotted them, organized. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I guess we'll tread lightly a little bit. Someone asked me at what age did you start liking makeups. If you all went back on my YouTube channel, y'all will see that I kind of wasn't wearing makeup at first and then I kind of got into it. Oh, what age was I? It definitely wasn't high school. It was college. I want to say maybe, that's a good question. Maybe 2015, 2016. It's so hard for me to talk into my makeup. So either my makeup is going to look good or the conversation is going to be really good, but I'm just going to keep the look very simple so that I don't distract myself. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in Golden Tan, and I'm going to mix that with the e.l.f. foundation in caramel. Pull into it. I'm recording! <laughs> Somebody asked me if I miss saying Spider-Man, spider, -Man, spider -Man. <laughs> You say, have I done what? Spider-Man, Spider-Man. I don't smoke cigarettes. So when I started wearing makeup, I didn't just like go buy everything for a full face. I started, I think, with brows, mascara, and gloss. I wanted to do a little bit of concealer, and then you just start reaching for more and more and more stuff before you even notice. Along with that, watching YouTube videos, you can learn literally everything you need to know. Like the way I've learned to do my face is because I watch people who do their face on the internet. <laughs> so I would suggest that if you're interested and wanting to get into makeup, the NYX Bear with me multitasking spray so enough treading lightly folks let's get into it okay let's let's talk about this one tell us how to see if a guy is willing to come pick you up on a date without us asking him so yeah we talked about this on instagram live before i gave y'all like a whole actual scenario depending on how old you are if a person asks you to go out they're gonna be the one that is supposed to pick you up right why would you ask and then you're not okay hopefully i'm back for good this time <laughs> i keep having to walk away for stuff so e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in medium beige the way that you find out without directly saying oh by the way are you picking me up but if you want to be that direct then you can but when you ask that way now you never know if on their own they would have like if they are gonna do it because you kind of directly asked shucks I, <clears throat> I wanted to do my contouring first <laughs> as that particular day begins to approach you want to kind of be like, what time should I start getting ready? It hasn't been brought up yet in the week. Way earlier in that day, if y'all supposed to go out at like 7 or something, I'm about to start getting ready, da da da. And I wanted to know like what time we would be heading out so that I can send you my address. So now when, when you've established the sending over of the address, now you're listening for, oh, I thought this or I thought that, da da da. So now that's when you find out if on their end, if their intention is to pick you up or not. Now, if this is like a first time going out or something like that, I personally have never allowed people to pick me up if it's like the first time we going out. Um, I don't want you to know where I lay my head at. I'm gonna meet you there. We playing games at this point. That's what it sounds like, huh? <laughs> where your mind at? Like, what are you thinking is about to go on? So then when the person either says that they are going to or not, at least I know how you're looking at things on your side. I can't talk and do my makeup, as you all can see, because I want to blend this out first and I didn't even mean to put the concealer on yet y'all know what I hate I hate when a person says that a person stays too far or something because now that's telling me everything I need to know about not wanting to know you at all at this point if they have established and let you know that they are willing to come and pick you up you don't tell them I just want to see if you would you you don't say that at all <laughs> don't send the address yet text back and tell them that you're going to meet them there but that you're going to drive and then I at least know like would you have even been willing to because it's easy when you make it things easy for somebody you see what I'm saying but at the same time you can be direct like why not depending on how old you are because I'm 29 so at this point it's just like we're going to be very direct I'm finishing my whole face entirely too fast. Let me slow down. Okay, somebody said maybe someone already asked, but how to deal with a guy ghosting you after you've hung out. 
and then someone else said when men ghost you and try to come back like nothing ever happened <laughs> i want to do a little bit more concealer i shouldn't but i want to it's all about what you allow and what you do not that's something that i actually personally dealt with currently well not currently dealing with because i just don't reply you got to show a person what you tolerate and what you would not tolerate if you on your end just up and just start back communicating with the person the same way that they're trying to just start back chatting with you like nothing happened like oh okay this how i can move with them they don't mind me not saying anything about it depending on who this person is to you and okay what level of obligation do they owe me anybody that's been communicating and then you just up and just stop what's really good you know either bring it up or why are you kind of like casually chatting to me and not trying to bring it up that's how i would feel this is me I ain't, I'm not the type that's gonna blow your phone up. If I reach out twice, different days, they ain't trying to respond. And then I call and it's like, oh, okay, they not trying to respond. I leave it alone after that. Jewel of Greg said, thought I was gonna chase you and I ain't even run. And I ain't even done. Uh -uh. She thought I was gonna chase you. And I ain't even run. I'm not doing the most. I ain't got it in me to do any such thing. It just depends. If you're curious to want to know, why that person ghosted you you could either just ask like so what's been up da 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 if they ain't trying to get into it like it just goes back to what you will and will not allow if you cool with a person disappearing and popping back up then there's nothing that needs to be said at all if you don't start something you don't gotta put an end to it it is what it is you don't gotta like not reply at all right i might at least reply like once or twice to see like is the conversation gonna go in the direction but then if it gets to the point where it's like oh okay they're just trying to ask me about me and like how i've been and you ain't trying to ease into that at all you're showing me that you like pop in and out when you feel like it this is not that silence is definitely a response I'm on whatever you want and sorry if that sounds petty but I'm the one that's not replying now like I have nothing else to say and it's not like that you're doing it in a spiteful way at all that you show people how to treat you and if they bring it up and they say oh this or that whatever the case may be and that's like an excusable reason for you then go from there the person showing you who they are in the beginning believe them don't turn your head and look at it as supposed to be meaning something else it means exactly what it means <laughs> they're showing you who they are the next topic some of you all asked me about mostly confidence and acceptance living life and doing what you want and not worrying about what the next person says most times y'all ask me a question but also present the answer at the same time and that's exactly how you do it you just you do what you want and not worry about what people say how do i put this at the end of the day if people are going to talk they're going to talk regardless for one you can't please everybody and for two how do i worry at this i don't want to get to an age where i look back and say i did or did not do this because such and such was watching like regardless of what you're doing they still watching if you're watching i'm gonna just keep doing things the way that i want to do it because it makes me happy to do so basically Sephora Micro Smooth and Mahogany Deep number 56. You have to get to a point that a black, black. I cannot talk and do my makeup. Why am I trying to film this? Like, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm trying to film this. The word for me was just being unapologetically me. I was talking to a friend about it, something that I wanted to discuss on my channel and I didn't know what my approach should be with discussing that because I was kind of focused on when I present this information, how are people going to feel about it? You know, somebody going to have something to say, da da da. But at the end of the day, that is exactly right. People are going to have something to say. You can have an opinion, but it does not mean that your opinion matters to someone. You know, who is it coming from? Is it irrelevant? What this person basically told me, I wrote it down in my notebook. What I kind of think of and go back to it now is just live your truth. Hold on, let me pull this up. I made a list of things I wanted to leave in 2020. And I also made a list that says, hello, 2021. And the book that I'm currently reading is it's called Black Privilege. It's by Charlemagne the God. And that's where it comes from. Like the person, when they told me that, and then they mentioned the living your truth part about it and it made so much sense but you don't want to get to an age where you're like oh i lived for everybody else i did what everybody else wanted to do and i ain't satisfied like what good would that do you what po what point would that serve going back to what we were speaking about earlier about like people ghosting you and all of that when people walk away from you let them like don't try to stop them don't send an extra text message hang up the phone don't be double calling double texting like whatever god got for you is not necessarily tied to that person i feel like when things are meant to be it flows 
When you're chasing up behind somebody that ain't trying to be kept or they ain't trying to communicate with you, then you're forcing it. And it's 2021 and we ain't forcing nothing. Absolutely nothing will be forced in 2021 except a rubber band around a bankroll. <laughs> Like that's the only thing we force and when we force the relationships, we not forcing anything. If they ghost you, let them do that. Don't be letting people just pop back up and oh, I'm back. Like no, you gotta show people how to treat you. If they don't wanna move accordingly, but let them move around. Y'all asked about being comfortable in your own skin. This is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark. Like when you really think about it, you want to be loved and cared about correctly more so than incorrectly and until you value yourself until you love yourself nobody else is really good enough so it's got to be self 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 you know i made a weekly vlog talking about single and selfish being single and selfish and a lot of y'all really enjoyed that video and that's just really what you have to get to that mindset if somebody else is praising me more than i praise myself what good is that what am i supposed to do with this self-love matters and people can't feel voids you gotta have a grounding and a standard and when you have a standard you gotta stick to it regardless it's like oh i like this person if you've made some list right and you're like oh i like this person so i'm gonna adjust my list no no we not you gotta stick to what you already said stick to what you like stick to what you're doing see if a person fits into that but you don't adjust what you got going on so that they automatic now you're making them fit it's like taking a puzzle piece and then you cut it to put it where you want it to go, but really it don't go there. If it don't go there naturally, don't force it. Don't, mm, mm I'm taking the same thing to contour my nose. It's about your mindset. You gotta get to the point where you tell yourself, I would rather be by myself than to be treated less than. Less than what I deserve, less than what I know that I'm worth, less than settling, less than just, oh, okay, I like them, I'm adjusting stuff. We ain't adjusting nothing. <laughs> when you value yourself, nobody can take that away from you. So live your truth, live in who you are. You know how like in movies, people will blackmail people because it's like they got something on them. And living your truth, like you beat a person to the punch for thinking that they can use something against you because it's like, I already said that. So what you gonna say now? Like you can't use something against me that I've already established and laid out to be truthful itself. But think of it this way. The way I see it is, People gonna have something to say regardless of what I'm doing. I may as well do what I wanna do anyway. Easy for somebody to point out everything about somebody. Oh, she this, or she's doing this, or she's doing that, da da da. And they can't even acknowledge anything about their own selves. There's a scripture in the Bible, I put the exact one on the screen. I think it said like, get the salt out of your own eye. The speck, let me find it. I wanna find the exact one now, hold on. Found it, it's Matthew 7 and 5. It says, first take the plank out of your own eye and then you can, you'll see clearly to remove the speck out of your brother's eye. Worry about yourself. <laughs> when you're distracted from the distractions, I'll say, when you're distracted from paying attention to what everybody else got going on, you don't really have time for that kind of stuff. You Like really ask yourself in situations, it's like how much does this person really matter? Can they take money out of your pocket? Like, all right then. It's nothing's on this brush. I use this brush to kind of blend. This is in number 962. So moving on to the next topic, toxic relationships or the lack thereof. <laughs> How to stop enabling your friend's toxic relationship with her man. Remember in English class, you had to highlight the important parts of a sentence, right? The important parts that you just pointed out here is friend's relationship, her toxic man. This is Nars Blush in Orgasm X. First off, are you giving yourself more power than you deserve? Are you enabling anything or is your friend doing what she wants to do and being in what and being in what relationship she actually wants to be in? Sometimes certain things is not really our choice or our business to even worry about or care about in the first place. If you've given your friend her, your opinion on the relationship and she still chooses to be in it, I think that's for her to, you know, go over and beyond to try to get your friends to not be in a relationship that she sees nothing wrong with being in. We have to get in, get to a point in our lives where we see things for ourselves. When God gives you something, it doesn't mean that he's given the other person that yet. So in her own time, if that's a relationship that she should not be in, she'll have to see that for herself basically. And I just wouldn't really too much worry about something that's not my relationship. You could put that energy into something else. <laughs> Moving on to the next topic. Someone said, how do you make yourself available and not closed off to 
relationships so first i think you would have to ask yourself why you are closed off to relationships i wouldn't start trying to build relationships if i have something inwardly that i have not worked on yet that's stopping me whether that's friendships friends associates intimate relationships or if you're like still hurt or something like that um i don't know if you weren't too specific about it but i will focus on figuring out what that is first most times lessons wasn't for you to learn something about the other person you know when you walk away from something you're supposed to walk away from it with something for yourself something that you've gained you ever heard a person they'd be like oh yeah i done figured such and such out because they this and that and analyzing the wrong part like you're supposed to figure things out for you if you oh my phone ringing again i'm recording i told you i was doing my makeup like talking it People don't say bye anymore. I ain't saying be like completely open. Like you always want to kind of tread lightly and approach situations slowly and things like that. Especially when dealing with new people. You don't just jump right in. I mean some people kind of jump right into a pool. They don't care how cold the water is. But you kind of want to go slow. You might want to, you know, take the steps. I don't know if it's a situation where you need to forgive yourself for something. You definitely need to do that. Like I said, people can't fix, people, people can't fill voids. And so you don't want to jump into something prematurely looking for someone else to do something for you that you cannot do for yourself. Uh, someone else said, how do you tell your friend that they're doing too much? Why you want to tell your friend she doing too much? He or she. Maybe we should do more. Maybe somebody's not doing enough. Doing too much in what sense? This is how we have to approach life. We can't focus on things that don't really involve us that much how do i put this is it the way they dress and they talk the way that they act in what way shape or form are they doing too much because sometimes doing too much is a good thing sometimes when she step out looking oh so luscious and oh so good maybe that's a good thing i personally wouldn't tell a friend that they're doing too, too much the way i see it sometimes i like doing too much <laughs> It's about self. Not having somebody else figured out more than you have yourself figured out. And that goes back to confidence and acceptance. Being comfortable in your own skin. I don't know. I feel like just out of nowhere I had this random way of thinking. You know what? I'm just finna start doing what I want. Saying what I want. And living unapologetically me. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to say everybody else is taken. But I'll say that it's so much easier. and It's just better. Everything just kind of flows. And I say this all the time. If a person is going to like or not like you, at least you know you're giving your authentic self for them to decide off of. I'm on the phone, by the way, now, guys. You know how when I overthink the answer that I want to give because I want it to be so like, ooh, that was so profound. <laughs> I don't be able to do a good chit-chat. Well, for one, it's because I'm doing my makeup at the same time, too. So I just reach for too much of everything when I don't need to do that. It's the wing for me. You want wing. What's the little thing? He's like, listen to me. You want wing. <laughs> I definitely want a wing, love. Oh, this one crooked a little bit. Yeah, if I messed up a little bit. But honestly, that's simple. Because it's like they doing what they want to do. And they ain't caring about what your opinion about it is. So you should have that same kind of mindset. I don't even know how to fully explain it to y'all. Something about the end of 2020 leading into 21. I just told myself, I was like, this year finna be different. Really for me, I think it's the fact that this is the last year of my 20s. And I just refuse to not do things the way that I want to do it. The way that's enjoyable for me, you know? I'm messing up this wing. Mmm. Means they care more about the other person than putting themselves first. To put themselves first. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. It's like going to a restaurant and you're like, oh, it don't matter. Like, you settle for what everybody else wants all the time. You really don't like this kind of food, but you eating it because it's like, that's what they want. You wearing this because this what they want. Shucks. Hang on. Hang on. Somebody's calling me. It's a percentage in life that you give yourself and that you give other people. And you shouldn't give other people a larger percentage of you than what you're giving yourself. Is that what you're saying? Because you do yourself a disservice when you put in other people before you. Then I need to go to counseling. <laughs> true that is true i feel like when a person is is living their truth and you're doing exactly what you want to do it's like when people get favors from you right and then you you change your way of thinking and you're like i ain't got no more favors to give i'm done letting people use me da 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 my dad had that on his uh, on his facebook the other day like if a person gets upset because you're like oh i'm done letting people use me the only people that be upset when people make a positive change for themselves they was probably the person that was benefiting from you kind of moving in a way that's pleasing to them in the first place i'm trying 
kind of speak more so about y'all than me speaking all about me. If people want you to move the way they want you to move, they might be trying to live through you. Like if you're gonna watch the way I'm doing things, then I'm gonna let you watch me doing exactly how I really wanna do it. Yourself, you just was like practicing. Mm-hmm. Growing is uncomfortable. Change is uncomfortable. Growing pains. <laughs> they glow up. Like the difference probably in the content that I've been trying to give where I let y'all hear more open opinions on different things we disc we discuss instead of me putting it in fast motion and y'all don't know what I was saying on the phone. At some point in gaining subscribers and like getting a larger following and all of that, when you read the comments and most times people would be like, oh, just ignore the comments, blah, blah, blah. And that doesn't make any sense. That's not a valid explanation or way of doing things it don't really work like ignoring it for me means okay you're telling me not to read any of them all right cool toxicity true very true okay guys so the lashes that i'm gonna take uh my subscriber sent me these let's see which ones i'm gonna wear today i think i like these with this look so my subscriber luxury lifestyle beauty sent me these create your own definition of beauty they're in the style boss lady like look at this packaging absolutely love it and she also sent me these are my favorite kind of tweezers for putting on lashes fingers crossed when i edit this i like this chat i'm feeling like i won't but i'm gonna just take a chance to upload it anyway so this says luxury lifestyle as well and this kind is super easy especially for beginners for putting on your lashes and i'm just gonna use my duo glue i like to put them on and see if they need to be trimmed i'm loving this hair oh my god i don't know why i called you back knowing i got one more clip to film for this reel I don't want to hit you back. I want to talk. I want to pick one more topic while I get this stuff ready. Hold on. Because we got something else in here that I could talk. Oh, that's a topic. So someone said getting a guy to notice you. Like when you're only social media friends. How do you get a person to notice you? So me personally, I'm not an approacher. I don't go and get nobody. I let people come to me. <laughs> Making something known but not being too obvious. You can directly slide in the DM and let them know exactly what it is. Like I'm feeling you was good. <laughs> or like their photos and stuff don't overdo it to where you're like flooding but when they post stuff send eyes you always talking about sending eyes but the, you love sending eye emojis huh it say a lot without you saying anything this crazy person i'm on the phone with suggests that y'all drop eyes in their dm the eye emoji i'll put it over here so y'all know what i'm talking about if they respond it means you can spark your conversation from there so while we let the lash glue dry i'm gonna do my highlight because i found that it's the perfect amount of time to let the lashes do their thing i'm gonna take my anastasia beverly hills glow kit um and sun dipped and i'm going to dip into tourmaline and summer because I like these two together. And just remember with everything I said about self and all of that, I could use this highlight, but the highlight comes from within. Don't ever forget that. <coughs> wow. Mm. Ooh. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is an e.l.f. highlighting brush as well, just to make sure I'm blending it out and it's just not like right there. So, whilst I put on my lashes, we're gonna talk about being happy single. First and foremost, I think you have to get to a point where you've acknowledged yourself that being single is a blessing and not a curse. Actually, there's a book that I read that is called um, Singleness, a blessing, not a curse. Like I said, people can't feel voice. When you're for sure of who you are and you enjoy your own presence, then you can appreciate someone else it's very relaxing and freeing actually i was just telling somebody about that the other day i'm like when i change my bedding and when i do different things around the house i literally don't have to run it by nobody it's just my bed it's just my room for my lip combo i'm just going to take i can't find my new lip pencil that i bought so i'm just going to use the one that i always use this is nyx yeah nyx brown cafe i'm going to take my anastasia beverly hills a lipstick this one is in naked and then i'm going to put a little concealer in the center to see what I get.
definitely be sure to check out more of my chit chat get ready with me girl chat videos some of the topics that i did not choose is because i've kind of discussed those things already so i'll link those down below for you all if you enjoyed this video definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up that will help me to know what kind of videos i should film next for you all and that's pretty much it i've already talked y'all ears off long enough be sure to follow me on instagram don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel because it's absolutely free to do so and i will talk to you all in the next upload bye